what's up guys we're back with a video on how to semi free farm because we made one on free farming which you guys can watch and now we have one on semi free farm which is what we're more leaning towards as far as how we want our hair to lock uh, if you wanted to classify it yeah exactly all that. yeah because like cause as far as like how the lock community is now like yeah. as far as free form semi free form twisted yeah. we'll just explain what semi free form is and i mean to really break it down simply like uh when you're set the second you are semi free forming is when you're separating your hair like you're taking like Ta locks, doing any type of alterations, yeah, alterations like yeah. which is really just separating yeah, like because sure. like you just uh like, if, point. yeah exactly so like the second you like have like two locks that are joining together your whole head's free form i mean congoing like if you take one free form from another and separate the two locks to make them individual or you separate two congos whatever you do that's what people would then consider semi free forming because you're altering what it like what you would have left alone if it was free forming mm -hmm. so uh like um like pretty much se separating is like where you'll have two locks that are kind of stuck together whether it's at the root or like kind of along the base of the lock and you just take them and like you'll pull them apart like you could do it depending on how locked they are you'll do it harder or maybe softer like normally you would want to kind of start off a little so so you know how like tight they are together mm -hmm. and then you would fully separate them and you'll know when it happens like it just goes like and like that's when you know like you fully separated yeah. the hair especially when your hair is longer you get that sound. that's actually the major key like mm -hmm. that uh like that i kind of found to it just being able to have the most freedom with free, semi free forming because people will kind of just call it, say that they're free forming and rush into separating like everything that yeah, congo exactly. and you have like this is just a little tip but we're gonna go in depth on this on this like when in the future mm -hmm. um but like you should let your hair free form like as much as you can like yeah. preferably like what i'm probably gonna do is like let my hair free from for about a year um you'll see in the future but as the longer you let it free form the better it is because then you can like separate it and have the most freedom you can keep like uh little things and stuff like that yeah exactly like you're allowing your hair to like fully free form how it would and then like if there is let's say a congo or a hair like two hairs that you liked two locks that you like that are joined together or something yeah. you can then like leave them rather than just separating 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 and like your hair has to keep trying to connect yeah connect like afterwards. when you just fully free form then like you get to enjoy both sides really is what it is like you'll get to fully free form mm -hmm. and then you can separate like halfway down the lock to where but, kind of but we're not lock. we're not going to go into yeah. too much depth about it right now because yeah. it, it's kind of that but just take that into account that's a yeah, major exactly. uh bonus and a key like if you're at around our stage and you're trying to learn how to like just know this is the best tip that somebody could give you give it time and don't rush anything yeah, like, exactly. you, you're gonna want to fall in love with the ugly parts of your hair before you rush into like yeah. trying to look like this or look like that because you never really know how cool or dope your shit can be until yeah, it exactly. really gets to that point yeah. So I'm, we're just I'm emphasizing sure. it, but yeah. yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into a different type of topic though, and it's also really beneficial. This is something like uh, that people do on accident, and then they get frustrated about it, and mostly because they already have like really free like separated hair, mm -hmm. um, or, and, and yeah, and they're trying to free form it out again. Um, but how you lean and how you lay and what you do with your hands on your hair has an impact on your hair it will like push it a d like certain ways and set up your hair to have a certain look um especially if it's for an extended period of yeah. time like you're laying on it a certain way for yeah. an hour all night blah 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 like then your hair is gonna be more pushed uh to in what like flattened or pushed like yeah. um You'll notice like a lot of people have like flattened backs of their like locks. Yeah. And that's just because they're laying on it. Yeah, um, exactly. You can look at it as a negative, but uh, we like to look at it a different way. 
and that's also something that we're going to go in a lot more depth in the future. Yeah, but as well. This, this is just kind of the basics that we're mm -hmm. kind of running over. Uh, the things that we emphasize, though, like really take into account. Yeah, like, and yeah. also, like, just because your hair is flat at a certain point, like from you laying on it, it doesn't mean that your locks are going to be flat. Your locks are still going to, like, find the right section to where they're nice and, like, cylindrical. Well, uh, what I like, will say is that sometimes they might no yeah that's what i was about to say oh, okay. like because you can have flatter locks but that's just how your hair section yeah. like when you're free forming like all your locks separate so that way like every single lock has a nice section etc however like it sets it up you'll have all different sizes and you will have like a lock that looks flat but like you're never gonna have a lock that's skinny and flat when you're free forming like yeah and another thing i'm gonna say is like don't wait too long to separate your hair uh because if you do like you'll just be losing a lot of like natural locks that were there and like let's say it's my hair is longer like and you try and separate it when they're really hooked together and they're already long you're just gonna lose half a lot like one part of it's gonna come apart and then you won't have it anymore so always try and like catch it like whatever you do want to separate uh don't let it fully tighten up too much but you don't also you also don't have to be like all over it you'll yeah, know you'll know when they're locked too much and like when it's past that point so. yeah and that's the nice thing about free forms it's like when you free form your hair like i said like all, every single lock finds its like own hair that it's locking and attaching with and like when you freeform like those sections are much much healthier yeah like when like you're you're able to separate and have like a much much stronger base to your lock exactly. to where like it's like really hard for you to be breaking your hair unless like your hair is super dry or something because like and another like, thing for like the people who are just really ignorant uh, and like I'm blunt with it like if, if you're ignorant on it and you're like really debating like uh, Should I semi freeform? Should I freeform? Or should I have twisted locks? Blah blah blah. It's really not much of a debate like I, and I say that not because like uh, I, I'm trying to minimize whatever decisions you're making it's cuz like at the end of the day like you will have much stronger and healthier locks if you freeform them then separate them and if they'll you, look yeah they'll, 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 they'll look, look a better. lot better yeah. they'll have a lot more balance and you'll see, i'm not going to go into yeah. too much depth but uh it's really more beneficial to do it that way if you really want to set like twist it after that point then do that uh that's your prerogative like uh, but i don't recommend twisting your hair like ever like exactly. unless you really want to have like a manicured look and that's that's yeah. for uh personal yeah th no. this is just a guide to uh semi free -forming. free forming and like just yeah. the african hair texture yeah exactly um, the natural way to do it but definitely i highly recommend letting your hair free form out and then slowly going into the process of manicuring your look uh, and it's a, it's a really loving process when you're growing your hair you want it to just be uh, like you have to fall in love with your hair as it grows mm -hmm. until you get to the point where it actually fully has that look and I, I don't mean to attack people but I'm just saying that to like like open your mind a little bit like even when you think your hair looks ugly that shit could actually be hard like yeah it could actually look dope as fuck and you just don't realize it yet. exactly so you just know, be patient and a month later yeah. your hair will be looking way different you, if you're free from exactly like, and, yeah, and you'll exactly. really it's like it's always a growth process yeah. and you're gonna start to fall in love with like the older stages yeah. and the newer one yeah and the way that we're teaching you how to it's really gonna give you that chance to see how your hair actually works because people will tell you like all these different things also yeah. don't use waxes nobody's hair locks on its own if you do yeah. not brush it or comb it you see, that's like, a you fact see, you see like, straight ass hair yeah, dogs exactly. that don't shed yeah exactly and they have matted hair they your have, hair will lock yeah. at any point you, yeah. you don't need to twist it you don't need to hold it there exactly. you don't need to do all, all these extra things yeah it's just, that's just wasted energy like, yeah you don't like, want to be wasting you, your money yeah. or wasting your time trying yeah. to 
trying to think that you're getting locks. Mm -hmm. Your hair locks on its own. You exactly. don't need to make your hair lock. Mm -hmm. That's something it does on its own. What you can do if you want to do that is use it. sea salt. Yeah. Paint sea Himalayan salt. sea salt. Yeah. And with, you that really has the most minerals and exactly, benefits. Exactly. Exactly. And it'll it lock your hair a yeah. lot quicker. It, uh, spray it in, let it sit, and then maybe wash it out like at the end of the day or whenever you feel like it. Uh, like after an hour or 15, I'd say when it dries out, then you can wash it if you want or rinse it out. Uh, yeah. But that'll help your hair lock, lock up a lot quicker. Yeah, as well as aloe. Some people already know. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't recommend using aloe all the time, but if like you do really want your hair to like, aloe helps your hair grow when you put it in, like it'll pull out growth, like that's in your scalp. And it it helps a lot. Yeah, yeah, they're indigenous in Africa. And yeah, that like is that, true. But they do look like they're different plants. Just like so. Uh, yeah. So just beware that it's not the greatest thing you can put in your hair. But if you really want that like gel to like help your hair lock, and, then and it's not gonna dirty your hair and it's easy to wash out, then use it. It's probably hair. better than most yeah. factory. Exactly. Cream. Better than every factory. Yeah, cream. That's the only gel that you can use that you can wash out of your hair and it's clean and it helps your scalp exactly. so yeah and that's pretty much it yeah i mean leave a like comment subscribe guys because we're going to be making a lot more free form videos a lot more videos on taking care of your scalp hair growth sorry my dog's choking Damn. in the wow in the background but mm -hmm. yeah all right thanks for watching <laughs>